Hello, and in this screencast for Apache Isis, um, I want to look at choices for uh, action parameters as well as for properties. At the moment, we have our favorite color property so that when I uh, want to change the property value, I can get a nice drop down, um, as you can see there. But if I create a brand new simple object, then I have no way of specifying the color, um, and so I would have to create the object and then in a separate action operation need to uh, specify the color like that. So let's enhance the um, the menu we have there, the create menu, so we can also specify a value. So we'll change the signature and add in a uh, string which will be favorite color. Let's make null the default value for anything that's calling this. Um, so we want to say this is optional. So the way in which we do that is with that parameter um, uh, optionality equals uh, optional. So that's how that's done. And then object dot set favorite color to favorite color. So let's have a look at the that code and see what it looks like. OK, the app is running. Let's uh, have a quick look. So we go to Create, and now we can create an object, uh, which is great, foo bar. Um, but we can put any old value in here, uh, which isn't quite what we want, because really we want to have a constrained set of values. So um, let's stop the application. And to add in that same list of values, what we do is ISA PGCHO, so it's a parameter number one because we start at zero. The name is create, it's going to return a list of strings, and the order we want again is red, uh, green, blue. So that's very similar to the code we have for the property. Uh, let's run the application up. OK, that's the app running. Let's take a quick look. So now we'll go to create a new object and um, foo bar, and this time we have it the same drop down. OK, so there we are. That's how you add a choices um, drop down to an action parameter. All right, give it a go. Try it out.